Hello everyone, welcome back to Medical Coding Club. This is Chandrika. So today I'm going to discuss about uh, two repeated case studies from the integumentary section. So as you all know that for your CPC exam, uh, you will get 10 marks from case study. So case study will cover you know, all the surgical chapter and as well uh, you know the ENM portion. Okay, so at least two to three questions you can expect uh, from ENM in the case studies. So apart from that, uh, five to six questions will be from the surgical section. Okay, so today I'm going to discuss these two repeated case studies. So please check and understand. So let's begin. So as you all know, case study will be a bigger questions always. Okay, so they will be capturing pre-op, post-operative diagnosis, procedural note and uh, much more. Okay, so as we have a big question and we have a very limited time, you need to uh, be very strong in a you know concept oriented or few keywords. Based on keywords, you can easily navigate your answer or else whenever you get the case study question, so you have to uh, follow the reversal method. Okay, so you just have to go by option first and you know you can uh, check that repeated options and in your head you will get feel like what what this case study is all about okay what procedure they are talking about so using that reversal method easily you can get answer okay follow that method only when you have a bigger question or that big scenarios so here this particular scenario also a very big question i have retained only the procedural note so let's read out the procedural note and let's find the answer. So 15 year old boy was burned in a fire and assessed to have a received burn to 75% of his total body surface area. And he was transformed to burn center for a definitive treatment. Once stable, he was brought to the operating room. Procedure, see this is a procedural note. Due to an extent of the patient burn, the lack of sufficient donor site, his full thickness bone will be excised and covered with a xenograft. So what is xenograft? So you got to know the concept. Now they are the, this question or case study is all about graft. Okay, so they are talking about xenograft. So xenograft is like it's an animal uh, skin. Okay, when they don't have a human skin, uh, they will be opting xenograft that is animal skin for temporary purpose okay it will be like pig skin sometime cow skin so they will be utilizing this so this xenograft will come under skin substitute graft okay so you need to uh, take your codes from skin substitute graft so you need to highlight this and then the split thickness skin biopsy will be harvested for the preparation of autologous graft to be applied in the coming weeks so you can see here they're also talking about split thickness skin biopsy will be harvested okay harvested procedure and also a preparation that is surgical preparation okay so what is surgical preparation so it's like it's a process of preparing the skin or wound site uh, before performing any skin graft or a flap procedure or any kind of reconstructive techniques okay so generally surgical preparation involves uh, they'll be removing the dead tissues and damaged or uh, diseased tissue so they'll create a clean uh, that viable recipient site for a grafting or a closure purpose okay so you got three key keywords here that is surgical preparation and harvest also skin substitute graft okay and further you can see when available after induction of anesthesia extensive debridement of full thickness burn was undertaken and uh, attention was first directed to the patient face neck scalp and a total of 500 square centimeter in the area received full thickness burns the ester involving this area was total of 950 square centimeter and again i guess i have missed one line here okay 
So, Esther involving this area to excise down viable closure and hemostasis was achieved. And then, total of 950 square centimeter in the area received full thickness burn. The ester involving this area was excised down to the viable tissue. Hemostasis was achieved. Attention was then turned to arm and leg. Total 725 square centimeter received. So then coming to hands and feet, a total 300 square centimeter in the area received full thickness burn. And again, the ester involving this area excised down to a viable tissue. All involved uh, area were then covered with a xenograft. Finally, a split thickness skin graft of 0.015 inches in depth, which harvested using dermatome from the separate donor site. A total of 85 square centimeter was recovered. What procedure code you would be reported here? So the concept, as I said, it's a graft. And the initial thing, they have did skin substitute graft. So what are the coding points uh, we have in the graft section? First thing, we have to check the, the area of the burn and also the anatomical site. Okay, anatomical site we have to check. So here we have to check what are the anatomical site falls in the same group and what are the anatomical site that falls in another group. Okay, so first we will group the, all the anatomical uh, sites which are falling in the same group and we will add the square centimeter. Okay, so then only we can able to code it uh, properly. So let's see the answer. You Like you can take two minutes and you can go through all the options. Okay, I'll just uh, directly go and explain the answer. So by now you might have already got an idea what would be the answer because I have highlighted all the keywords. So let's see what is answer. So answer is C here 15277, 15278 with unit 7, 15873, 15874 with unit 16, 15004, 15005, 7. So we can see here. So all of these units are added. Tackle the scenario, you need to find out what type of graft was used on the patient. So as I said earlier, it was xenograft and which is a skin substitute graft. So multiple choice C ref reports the skin substitute graft code. Add the group of body areas together to get the total square centimeter. Okay, add the group of body areas together which are in same anatomical grouping. So the first group, face, scalp, neck. Okay, so this is 500 centimeter and also hands and feet 300 centimeter. So this will fall in a single anatomical grouping. So from these three, 500 and hands and feet 300, together we are getting 800 square centimeter. And then, so for this, we will be coding which code? The first two set, 15277, which covers 100 square centimeter, first 100 square centimeter, and 15278 is for each additional 100 square centimeter, right? You can read the description also. So we are multiplying or we are just giving units as 7 because we have to still code for 700 square centimeter. So the first set we are done. Next. Next, you can see next group of the east trunk, which is about 950 centimeter. Arms and legs is about 725 centimeter. So together, how much we will get? 1675 centimeter. So for this grouping, we have to code from the another anatomical group code. That is 15273, which include trunk location, arm and leg. So, and 15274 into 16, 
we are giving again we have almost 1605 cm so the unit 16 we will give and those again at last after this group 15004 and 15005 into 7 what is this this is about the graft xenograft code okay so you would use the same square centimeter of so whatever the grouping we have already got or whatever the square centimeter we have got so far for the same thing we will just go ahead and give the xenograft code so 15004 15007 with units 2 and for trunk leg arms are coded with 15002 15003 with units 16 and lastly 15040 we have here it is for harvest of skin tissue autographed 100 square centimeter or less okay for the harvesting we are coding 15040 in the initial scenario they have specified that they are harvesting using like for the graft purpose they are harvesting the skin okay so total for this scenario answer is C and this is very important scenario important case study and the many times this case study will be repeated so whatever the quotes have added uh, please go back and uh, read the complete description of these codes so you will get a better clarity so next question uh, next question is 50 year old patient present with a basal cell carcinoma of lesion on the back measuring 11 cm in the size the patient is taken to the surgical suit where they are prepped, drapped and locally anesthetized using 1% of xylokine solution with epinephrine and the surgeon performs excision of the lesion ensuring full thickness removal including epidermis, dermis and partial subcutaneous tissue. So with the margin of normal skin, a uh, circular fashion following a natural skin and tension lines as a closely possible 15% scalpel blade is used and wound is an electrode. So, okay, let's see the uh, procedural note. After confirming the complete excision of the lesion, surgeon notes 12 square centimeter of the defect in the excision site. To ensure the proper wound closure and prevent infection, uh, rotation advancement flap repair is planned. So by reading this question, you should understand this procedure is about ATT. Okay, adjacent tissue transfer. So the first coding point or coding guideline we have for ATT is excision is included in ATT procedure. Okay, with but uh, be it it's a malignant or it's a benign, it doesn't matter for us. If it is an excision, it is included in the ATT procedure okay if they are performing both so here in this scenario firstly they did excision and second they are performing the uh, rotation advancement flap in the same site that means they are also going to perform ATT so you, you know that in ATT we have a different kind of plasties like Z plasty, W plasty, VY plasty and this rotation advancement plasty so we have more so for this particular question and lastly to secure the flap and the medial portion of the defect is closed using 5% of Victrel and uh, proline sutures. So again it's a minimal blood loss and uh, again you cannot code uh, this simple repair uh, with the ATT also. So if you see the options easily you can eliminate two option not two option three option you can you can easily just by seeing you can eliminate because c option c and option d are included with excision of repair okay excision of the same lesion so when they are performing both att and excision for the same site then even with the modifier you cannot bypass the edit okay so C and D are eliminated and 15271 it is all about it's a skin grafting so we are not doing graft here if we are doing 
adjacent tissue transfer method so answer option a 14001 will come so next point you have to check is you have to check the anatomical site and this square centimeter of the defect okay so the location is trunk location that is in the upper back which comes to trunk 12 square centimeter defect okay so it comes like 10% to 30 um, or greater than 10% so the answer 14001 will be correct okay so let's cross check with the answer so yes answer is 14001 CPT 14001 is a correct code because it covers adjacent tissue transfer for defect between 10 to 30 cm on the trunk location okay so these two case studies uh, are very important for the integumentary section okay so from the integumentary they have asked these two for many times that's why i have added so it's not mandatory that you should get these case studies at least i hope you got an idea on two different concept okay one was graft and one was att procedure okay and uh, i would like to you know in the upcoming days at least by giving one day gap i can try to bring few more case studies for all the surgical chapter okay i hope it will help you so yes that's all guys and yes i have recently like uh, jan 16th cpc exam preparation batch completed on february 5 yeah february 5th i completed so here is uh, feedback i have added few feedbacks so next batch is going to start in march okay this this month i will be busy in my regular basic to advanced classes and my other one on one tutorials and again my regular work so as i said i'll be starting from maybe march 10th i believe okay if you are interested to take cpc exam preparation classes you can text me on whatsapp so i'll again once again i'll tell you who are all can attend cpc exam preparation classes so this batch or this particular classes is ideal for a uh, people who are preparing for exam that means you have already completed your training and now you just are going through your mock paper or practicing uh, and learning and maybe in within one or two month you are going to appear for exam then you can you are welcome to join the class and also uh, you know you might have failed in your first attempt and if you are looking to uh, get you know get boost uh, for your second attempt then again you can join and many will be like they will be taken training in some one or two year back now again you want to come back and you want to uh, you know learn everything what you did not learn earlier then you can join my classes okay the course fee is 2099 that means now uh, 2099 uh, not 99 it's 2000999 <laughs> okay not 2099 i sorry to 2999 and it it comes almost or not almost 3000 so uh, like as you all know you can't even take one single uh, cpt book for 3000 in that i am providing every day two hours live classes also providing material notes okay everything i am providing i am not just say, you know giving the material and i'm not saying bye okay you will be there in my classes until the course completes okay so you will get a time uh, every day to learn a few important concepts okay from all the cpt chapters so if you are interested so you can you can join the classes okay guys thank you all for watching and please do subscribe to my channel and please do share with your medical coding friends